Hi, I'm Bob Flisser, author of Excel Formulas and Functions in 90 Minutes. And I want to show you how you can move data from Excel into Airtable and how to go in the other direction, how to get data from Airtable into Excel. Now, Airtable is an online database, meaning it's software as a service. It runs inside a web browser. So let's start first by taking some data from Excel and throwing it into Airtable. So here I have a typical customer contact list, and we have a bunch of columns. We have a whole lot of rows. So Airtable does not connect with Excel live in real time. What you have to do is you have to take the data from Excel, send it to a comma separated values file, a CSV file, and then bring that into Airtable. So that's what we're going to do here. There's something else also you want to take a look at is in this, we have this nice heading here and we have a subheading and we have some blank rows and all of that stuff is on four rows before the table starts in earnest with the column headers on row five. That's going to be a bit of a problem because when we bring this into Airtable, Airtable is, as of this recording, is not sophisticated enough to say, okay, you're bringing in uh, some comma separated values. Are there any rows at the top that you don't want to import? It's going to import everything. And what will happen is it's going to take this header and put that at the top and your columns are just going to be labeled like column one, two, three, four. And then this row of column headers here, row five, is just going to be like a row of data. So we have to go and remove this. So I'm simply going to put my mouse pointer over here at the beginning of row one, and I'm going to click and drag down. So these four rows are selected. Then I right click and delete. Now, if you're doing this with real live data, just make sure not to save. So now I'm going to go and save this as a CSV file. So the shortcut is F12. I can hit the F12 key to save as, or I can go up to the file tab and over here I can go and choose save as. Now this is already pointing to a folder on my desktop called Airtable and calling it contact list. That sounds fine, but I don't want to save it as an Excel file. So I'm going to click that and I'm going to go down here and choose CSV. Now, if you're not pointing to the correct folder over here, you can always go down over here and click browse and find the correct folder. So now I'm just going to go over here and click save. And you notice I haven't really exported. I've actually saved this. And if you take a look here at the file name, this is actually the CSV file. So I don't really need this right now. I'm going to close it. So I'm just going to use the keyboard shortcut. I'm going to press Control W. So let's switch into Airtable. And I can go and import that CSV into an existing database. But for simplicity's sake, I'm going to create a new database. And in Airtable, they simply call it the base. So I'm going to click this plus over here. So I'm on the dashboard. I'm on the home screen. Click that. And I'm going to choose Import a Spreadsheet. Now, I could go and I could have taken all of that data from Excel and copied and pasted into this box. So that's one option. But we created that CSV, so I'm going to click this button here, select Files to Upload. There is the CSV I created, so I'm going to double click it. There it is. And I'm going to click Upload. Now, I could give it a name instead of imported base, that's not much of a name. I'm going to call this contact list. And I can choose color for it. I can choose a, an icon for it, whatever it is. And there's a whole bunch of icons that we can choose from. I know for lack of anything else, I'm just going to choose the lightning bolt and click off it. Now when I want to view it, I'm just going to click it. And there it is. And here's all my info. And you notice that that top row, what was originally row five in the Excel sheet, is now my column headers. And I can scroll over. Now, there is one thing, actually, that I might want to do here. And that is, it imported everything as text. So over here, like this credit limit, the last row, it's numbers. It should be 
it's money, it's currency. So I'm going to go and click this little drop down, choose customize field type. I don't want it single line text. I'm going to scroll down here and I'm going to choose currency. And these are all whole numbers. So I'm going to click over here. It says precision and get rid of those decimals. Click save, click convert to confirm. And there it is. Now phone, you don't do any calculations on phone numbers. So I'm going to leave that as text. The same goes for the zip code. For the state, that's fine. Everything else is fine. So we've now successfully imported that Excel sheet into Airtable. Okay, so now let's go in the reverse. Let's take data from Airtable and push it out to Excel. So I'm going to click on this little icon over here to go to the home screen. And here is another base I have called Coffee Bean Sales. So I'm going to click that. And here this shows me the sales of coffee beans. So I've got an order number here, coffee variety, price per pound, number of pounds, the total dollar sale, and, and etc. So I want to go and save this out as CSV. So what I do here is I go up to the end of this row of buttons here and I click this three little dots. So I choose here download CSV. This is you know, pointing to that same Airtable folder I have on my desktop, and I'm going to call this Coffee Bean Sales. Click Save. Now let's go into Excel and bring in the data. So I switch back to Excel, and now I'm going to open the file. So I'm just going to press Control O to open. I'm going to click Browse. Now, this is pointing to this Airtable folder on my desktop, but you notice that CSV file is not here. What I have to do is go down to this drop down in the lower right corner, click that, and set that to CSV so I can actually see it. Here's coffee bean sales. And we move this onto the screen. Now I've got this wizard. And it says, okay, how do you want to import the CSV? Well, I want it delimited because each field is separated with a comma, so I'm going to leave that selected, click Next. They are separated with commas, so I'm going to make sure that only commas are checked, and maybe if there's two commas next to each other, I'm going to consider that a mistake, and I'll treat that as one. That's not going to happen in this instance. Go Next. If there's any columns that I don't want to import, or if I want to treat anything special, I could do that. I don't need to do that here, so I'm going to click Finish. And here I have, it's kind of scrunched, but here's the data imported. I'm going to click on this little gray dots over here to the left of the column headers and above the row headers. And I'm just going to go double click the column separator, maybe drag it a little bit more, just to make this a little easier to read. Maybe make the rows a little taller. I don't know. So here I have all of my data. And now I could go and make this look pretty if I want. So if you're using Airtable and you also use Excel and you want to get your data back and forth between the two, that's how you do it.